NK Toko Sports. We are here at Minster High School for the girls varsity basketball action between the Marion Local Flyers and the Minster Wildcats. Today's game is sponsored by Minster Bank, Schwederman Pharmacies, Keyhole Pizza, New Knoxville Supply, Minster Dental Care, Hometown Opportunity, Francis Furniture, Wilson Health, Precision Strip, Winners Meats, NK Toco, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Wagner's IGA, Cargill, Grand Lake Health System, Clope Building Products, Moran's Refrigeration, and First National Bank. Welcome to Wildcat Gymnasium along with Ron Kruse. I'm Dave Kanapke. They already introduced the Marion starting lineup. They have Kelsey Koenig, Heidi Rethman, Natalie Rethman, Elena Pullman, and Brooke Homan. Marion 7 6, 1 and 3 in the MAC. Minster, number, number two ranked team in the state, 13 1 overall. And there's a starting point guard, number four, Ivy Wolf, leads the team at 13.8. <laughs> Fellow sophomore, 5'6", number 13, Janae Hoing, averaging 8.1. Next, number 22, senior, 5'9", Jessica Falk, averages six points a game. Number 30, Courtney Pranger, 6'2", senior, averaging close to 10 points a game. Round out the starting lineup, 5'10", senior, number 32, Damaris Wolf, averages almost eight game. Wildcats are coached by Mike Wiss. Along with Dave Kanapke, I'm Ron Cruzy. Ron, while well, we got a minute, look at our keys to the game, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. First with Marion Local. For Marion Local, the first one is shooting. In five of their six losses, Marion Local has shot less than 30% from the field. The second key is handle pr pressure. Pressure defense is an important part of Minster's game. The Flyers have to take care of the basketball. And for Minster, they need to get back on track. The Wildcats need to recover from the double overtime loss to Fort Lormy and start a new streak. And the second one is shooting. Minster did not shoot well the last two games against Coldwater and Fort Lormy. Again, those are the keys of the game. Brought to you by Keyhole Pizza in Newport. The tip is control. Wildcats with the basketball all the way over to the Maris. We'll back to Janae Hoing. Minster coming off the double overtime loss to Fort Larmy on Saturday afternoon. Inside to Pranger, she'll kick it out to Ivy Wolf. Wolf to the basket and in. So right away they go inside to Pranger. She just kicks it out to Wolf, who has a lane right through the baseline to the basket. Flyers seven and six coming off a tough loss to Anna on Tuesday night. They led it by eight at halftime, but only scored four points in the second half to lose a very good Rockets team. Working against the Minster man-to-man, -man, you have Natalie Rethman, now to her sister Heidi Rethman. Koenig working around the perimeter. Holman. They're doing a good job handling the basketball right now. Good ball movement against the Minster pressure defense. They go down low, Heidi Rathman off the glass and in. Heidi Rathman averages 9.6, her older sister averages 10.4, the leading two scorers for the Flyers. Inside Pranger, turnaround, that's short. Rebound of the Flyers. Fast break, up ahead, Holman is guarded by Pranger, backs up a little and rolls off. Tipped around, Falk comes up with it. Outlet to Wolf. Looking for an opening, drives to the basket. Nice block by Pullman. Rebounded by the Wildcats. Spin move, Hoing rolls off. Rebound Flyers. Coleman comes up with the rebound. Looking for a teammate, gives it to Junior Koenig. Now to senior Natalie Rethman. We see Minster pick him up. Full court, man to man, and they cause a lot of turnovers that way. And right away they get a 10 second call against Marion, then get across half court in time. Not a popular call with the Marion bench, but you gotta remember Holman held that ball for a long time in the backcourt. Yep. And that all counts, not just when you're dribbling the ball. 
So two to two on our first National Bank scoreboard. First National Bank third first. Hoying with a long three. Rims off battle for the rebound. We have a jump ball. It'll turn it over to Marion. So we'll see if how the Flyers handle the full court pressure this time. Like Dave said, you just can't hang on the ball and, and look, you got to move it right away. Thanks to a lot of quick guards there. Nice job, Natalie Rethman with the basketball. Drives, put one, puts one up. Rebound to Falk. That time they broke it by passing the ball, then they didn't dribble. Damaris Wolf with the tray. She's a 32% shooter from the three point line, 16 of 49 on the season. There's a steal by the Wildcats. Ivy Wolf, just a sophomore. She is in the top five in five different categories in the MAC standings. Does it all from the point guard position. And that's quite an accomplishment, mainly because you're a sophomore. Point drives, but steps on the line. That will turn it over to the Flyers. And one thing we saw that was really interesting, 348 turnovers by the opponents of Minster compared to their 142. So you're looking at their opponents average 20, 25, just under 25 turnovers a game. Compared to about 10 yeah. for Minster. That's, so it's, they're causing two and a half more times than what they're committing themselves. Yes. And if you can score off even half of those, it's a big plus. Nice pass there, Caney to Pullman, who finishes with the basket. Up ahead, Pranger, nice block by Pullman. Elena Pullman, the sophomore with two blocks already today. Good recovery on the defense there by Pullman. A good transition defense there. Pranger got down there quickly. Pullman tries to drive on Pranger. Gets a knock back at her. Pullman cut into the basket, goes off on Minster, will stay with Marion. Marion, before that loss to Anna, had won four of their last game, four of their last five games. Only won five games last season. Rethman with the shot. Rebound of the Wildcats. The Maris Wolf will take it across. Keeps going, dries and in. Good fundamental basketball there. She just got the ball and took it right down the middle of the floor. Wolf already with five. Pass ahead to Pullman. Partially blocked there by Wolf. Going back and forth here. Definitely a tempo that favors the Wildcats. Wolf kicks it out. Falk three. That is short. Long rebound goes to Ivy Wolf. Pull up in. Nice move by Ivy Wolf. Gives the Wildcats a five point lead. Full court pressure. Holman. Able to get it across with Heidi Rethman. And one thing you'll see, you might not see a lot of turnovers here at the beginning of the game, but later on it wears on a team if you get pressured the whole time, the whole floor. Pullman with the basket and is fouled. Lena Pullman jocks down about a 15-footer, has a chance for the old-fashioned three-point play as we take another look. See that she just gets it on the elbow and, and she's tall enough to shoot right over the over the defender. She comes in the game 22 of 41 from the free throw line. It's only 53%. In the lineup for the Flyers, number 30, Grace Kanapke, a 5'10 senior. Also in for the Wildcats, number 14, Carly Richard, a 5'7 senior. As Pullman converts the three-point play. I don't understand the 53% with a shot like that. She had a good backspin on the basketball. Nice soft touch. And there's a turnover there. Flyers tip it away. 64th meeting between these two schools. Very closely contested. Minster leads the series 33-30. to A lot of good basketball between these two schools through the years. Pullen at the elbow again will give it up. There's Emily Neatfeld that's in the ball game, gives it to Kanapke. Minster does not allow a dribble penetration very often. Kanapke that time will drive on Pranger. That is blocked. 
Tipped around, Wolf comes up with it. Passes it ahead to Hoying. Crossover to the basket, that's partially blocked. Rebound of the Flyers. Natalie Rethman will give it up to Pullman. Rethman wide open for the three, that is short. Ivy Wolf with the basketball. Pass to Wolf and in. Wolf to Hoing to Wolf for the basket. A nice entry pass there from the left wing. Long pass, too long. They thought Pullman was going to go deep on there. Another turnover. Yeah, just a little miss, miscommunication on that one. Flyers coached by Beth Stribe. See her in the background, her fourth season at her alma mater. Former Beth Everman. Damaris Wolf with another tray. Lead up to seven. And that gives her 10 points here in the first quarter. 10 of the 14 points. We have a 30 second timeout. Well, we've got a minute. We'd like to thank our sponsors for making this telecast possible. Wilson Health, carrying without limits. Precision Strip, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Wagner's IGA, servicing communities for over 95 years. Grand Lake Health, Low Pay Building Products, America's favorite garage door. Moran's Refrigeration, your appliance expert serving Northwest Ohio for over 70 years. PSG Automotive Outfitters, Minster Bank, financial solutions for a lifetime. Spruderman Pharmacies, pharmacies located in Salina, Coldwater, Minster, New Bremen, St. Mary's, and Wapakoneta. New Knoxville Supply, Cargill, Minster Dental, and Francis Furniture. Our sponsors here this evening as the Wildcats lead the Flyers 14 to seven. Yeah, we're seeing a, you know, pretty much the way they drew it up. You know, Minster's playing the, the rugged man-to-man -man defense. Marion's doing a fairly decent job. Uh, they've got three turnovers, which isn't a whole lot compared to what Minster's used to forcing. Rathman able to get across the line, draws the foul on Ivy Wolf. Wolf ended up fouling out of the Fort Army game in overtime. Minster had a lot of foul trouble with her and her sister Damaris and Prayer in foul trouble about the whole game. Minster did not shoot very good, only 32% from the field, was 11 and 25 on the free throws, but yet they almost knocked off a very good Fort Army team in a classic game. Let's see what Mary, Marion can do with Pringer on the bend. And there's Rathman, wide open tied for the key and knocks the tray down. And that's their first three of the ball game. And there'll be a turnover into the backcourt on the errant pass, and it'll go all the way, and Marion will have it close to their basket. So both teams have three turnovers here in the first quarter. Minster led by Damaris Wolf, who's out of the lineup. She scored 10 in the game number 12. Daniel Barhorse. Rathman with the basketball under a minute to go here in the first quarter. Drives to the hoop, bang, banks it in. A little off balance, but she got it off the glass. Up ahead to Falk. There's another block, that time by Kanapke. Oh, Flyers get back on defense pretty quick on those transitions. They're doing an excellent job on defensive transition, stopping the fast break. And, you know, Minster likes to basically steal the basketball and go down. And even off their rebounds, they look for the outlet pass and take off. Caning shot was blocked. They get their own rebound. Entry, Holman, that will be short. Rathman open for the tray at the buzzer. Natalie Rathman knocks down the triple. And that will give the Flyers a 15 to 14 lead as we go into the quarter break here on NK Toko Sports. We'll be right back. Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. 
Our 1,500 square foot showroom and pro shop at BowlerStore.com is stocked with bowling balls, bags, shoes, accessories, and apparel. The pro shop is equipped with two drill presses, measuring devices, and bowling ball maintenance machines to keep your ball rolling great. We offer private lessons for individuals and groups. Moxie's extra pair inside BowlerStore.com is also available to rent for private events. Be sure to check out BowlerStore.com or visit our pro shop in Versailles, Ohio for all your bowling product needs. Welcome back. One quarter in the books here at Minster and Marion Loco coming Wagner's from idea behind, behind Natalie Rethman's three. Lead the Wildcats 15-14. Yeah, she had two threes right there. Uh, pretty close together. And I think, I uh, don't see it on the scoreboard. She's out of the game right now, but I think she has eight points. And, and Marion goes to a 1-3-1 one, one zone. Pullman, a 5-11 on the point there. Falk will drive down the bar horse, loses the handle, and it goes out of bounds. Turnover. That's the fourth turnover for Minster. Who would ever thought that? They have more turnovers than Marion. Marion has met the challenge so far. Sammy Holscher into the game. And there's the turnover. Pranger pushes it ahead to Falk, stops, and she walks. Well, that was Minster basketball at its best right there until she walked. She wanted to stop fake and let the defender go by, and then her feet got moving before she wanted to. Foul right in front of us. Damaris Wolf puts up her second foul. I could have called that. She was out about the whole first half against Fort Laramie. She picks up her second one, leads the team with 10 points. Right now, it looks like Coach Wiss is going to keep her in there. Three fouls on Minster, zero on Marion Local so far. Caning with the basketball, picks it up. Now Sammy Holscher. That's quite a decision to make. She got 10 points, but two fouls. Ball on the floor, stolen away by the Wildcats. Ivy Wolf comes up with a basketball. Minster's been on, stuck on 14. Marion on an 8-0 run. Falk will break that with the tray. That was a nice shot. That's their fifth three of the ball game. They've made three out of five. She leads the Mac in three, three point shooting at 43% on this season. Senior does a nice job and a big basket for the Wildcats. Gives the lead back, almost a steal. We'll stay with the Flyers. End of the game, another senior for the Wildcats, Courtney Ernst, number 24, one of seven seniors on this team. So she comes in for Demarius Wolf. So he does take her out with two fouls. I think that's that's a good decision. Heidi Rathman gives it to Caney. Back to Rathman, tipped away. As you have Janae Hoyne returning to the lineup, also Natalie Rethman checking the lineup for the Flyers. We have Rethman, Rethman, Sammy Holscher, Pullman, and Homan, the five for the Flyers. We'll reset the Wildcats lineup when we get a chance. Pass is stolen away by Pranger. Pranger up ahead to fall. So that's three turnovers there in the second quarter for Marion, so. Maybe the pressure wears on them pretty quickly here. Falk on the wing. Drives to the basket, off the glass too strong. Gets her own rebound. Ernst will put up a shot, blocked by Sammy Holscher. The freshman leads the break all the way, partially blocked. Rathman follows. Pullman. Three shots, not able to fall for the Flyers, and we get a jump ball on the rebound. That will stay on the Flyers' side. Flyers did a good job offensive rebounding, but just couldn't get the ball to fall. I said Rethman will inbound it. Holscher was the one with the steal, just a, five, just a freshman. There's Pullman with the basketball knocked away. Now Brooke Hillman. Underneath a foul that will go against Ernst of the Wildcats. Her first team fourth. Again, no foul so far in the Flyers. 
Yeah. Shot by Rethman. Off back iron. Pranger with the rebound. Leads the break to Hoying. Draws the first foul on the Flyers. There you got something special when your 6'2 center can get the rebound and lead the fast break down to the other end of the floor. You know, she's got a special skill set when you can do that. And yeah. It's part of the reason she's going to play at Xavier next year. So. Plus, she just didn't throw it up there wildly. She passed the ball. Yep. So she's got a good sense of, of the floor. Pranger won over 1,000 points a couple Thursday nights ago against Fort Recovery, the, only the second Wildcat lady to go over 1,000 points. Behind Lauren Shank, who has like over 1,600 points in her career. She could play a little bit. Yeah, ended up at Ohio State, had a nice career there. Four-year starter for Minster. Ernst with the tray. So two threes here in the second quarter for Minster. Always scoring for both teams here in this quarter. Pressure. Pullman just inside the arc, way off as Falk comes up with a rebound. Minster always pushing the tempo. Wolf will reset for the tray. Rebound to Rethman. Picks up her dribble to Pullman. Marion has yet to score here in the second quarter. They're on an 8-0 run. It was an 8-0 Nally Rethman run. They gave him the lead. Pullman on the high post looking for a teammate. Half-court offense has been pretty decent, pretty active. Holscher gives it up to Pullman. Drives in the lane. Kicks it out. Rethman in and out. Rebound. Goes off of Marion will be with the Flyers. And Marion's been able to, to reverse the basketball and, and uh, you know, control the, the ball that way, but it, it's just against the press, the full court, that's where their turnovers have come. Number 23, Lily Pelletier, six foot senior in the game for the Wildcats. Also recently in for the Flyers, number four, Kelsey Canning, number 30, Grace Kanapke. Wildcats have Wolf, Poing, Ernst, Pranger, and Pelletier. Line up for Coach Wiss in his third year at the helm. 63 and seven in those two and a half years so far. One state championship as well. Ernst will give it up to Hoing in the corner. Sophomore drives, pull up, in. Janae Hoing with her first two points today. Looking against this pressure, Koenig will give it up to Rethman. Everybody clears out. Steal there, Pranger's had a whole bunch of them. Takes it to the basket, banks it in. Timeout, Flyers. Nine point lead by the Wildcats. That'll be a full timeout. You're watching girls high school basketball here on NK Toko Sports. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. K Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1 888 NK Telco and get in the game. Welcome back to Wildcat Gymnasium along with Ron Kersey. I'm Dave Kanapke. Wildcats making a nice run here, One scored the last 10 points. Yeah, they're taking the turnovers and turning them into points on the other end. And as we said before, that's a lot of their game. Flyers have been hanging in there quite well until the turnovers have hit. Caney get across the timeline. Yeah, they've got four turnovers here in the second quarter. Only hit, they only had three in the whole first quarter. Rathman in some trouble and travels. 
But we talked about earlier how they were having no trouble with the pressure and the turnovers earlier, but as the half goes on, you get a little tired. Yep. At first, you're all amped up and everything's a lot sharper. And then all of a sudden, you hit the wall, so to speak, and, and the pressure stays the same. Pass goes too high and a turnover for the Wildcats. Wildcats play a lot of girls as well. Yeah. Play about nine or ten deep as needed. Rathbun picks up her dribble. Koenig chases it down. And I think one thing Minster's done, they've adjusted. Marion isn't dribbling the ball against the man-to-man -man press. They're passing the ball. So Minster has adjusted their press to, to look for the pass. He felt in some trouble, able to get it to a teammate as Kanapke with the basketball to Koenig. I think what they're used to is, is just dogging that dribbler, you know, all the way down the floor, making them turn this way and that way. And uh, Marion comes out and they're just, they're passing the ball almost like it's a, a zone press. Shot rolls off. Flyers have yet to score here in this quarter. Minster has scored 10. Pranger banks it home. Assist by Wolf. That's her second bucket in the ball game. And just, you know, she doesn't have to be that aggressive underneath. She sees where the help comes from, if there is help, and she kicks it back out. She sees the floor very well. Neat felt trying to work against Horn gets it across the timeline. One and a half minutes to go. It's been a scoreless second quarter for the Flyers. Rath been working against Wolf. Wolf steals it. Pranger comes up with it. And in. It's the steal by Wolf. It's a basket for Pranger. Yeah, a basket for Pranger, but the, it really should go to Avery Wolf. Good Ivy hustle. Wolf. I, yeah, there you go. Had the wrong Wolf. Three Wolves on this team. <laughs> <laughs> you can cry Wolf on this team. But Avery Wolf, number five, just comes in the lineup here on Q. So. Ivy Wolf is the one that was on the floor and did the hustle. And then you hear the, there is the steal yes. there. And had enough sense to, to kick it over to Bringer. And if, and if you're going to be on the floor and have somebody to throw it to, that's not a bad option. And near, I thought it used to be called a travel like that, but when you're sliding like that, it's not a travel. It's when you try to move when you're on the floor is when it's traveling. When somebody clarified to me, Holster comes up with a rebound. Kicks it ahead to Holman. Down to 45 seconds and a 13-point lead for the Wildcats. Backdoor cut, Caney hit with the runner. So they broke the ice. But not much time left for any more. Ivy Wolf with the basketball, 25 seconds to go. Pulls it out for now. See if they run for the last shot. I think they're going to take the last shot of the half. Wolf working against Holscher. Drives Pelletier at the elbow and in. Lily Pelletier. Down to five seconds. Holman. See if the Flyers can get off a shot. A half court heave. And that will end our first quarter of your basketball. On the first National Bank scoreboard, we've hit halftime. Wildcats 30, Flyers 17. We'll take a break. Total up our numbers. Come back with the first half stats when we return here on NK Telco Sports. Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door, is now hiring for all manufacturing and over the road CDLA driving positions. Clope is the largest residential garage door manufacturer in North America, and we are continuing to grow. Join our team and work in a safe, clean, modern environment. Clope offers a great benefits package, is an equal opportunity employer, and a drug-free work environment. Imagine the possibilities when you open the door to your career at clopedoor.com slash careers. Oran Refrigeration in St. Mary's is celebrating 70 years in business. We are committed to offering you top name brands like Whirlpool, Maytag, and KitchenAid, Samsung, Fisher & Paykel, and Speed Queen. Come in and experience the one-on-one -on -one personal service that you won't get from big box stores. Our delivery installation specialist will assure you that your purchases arrive safely and are installed properly. Grand Refrigeration, exceeding your expectations.
PSG Automotive Outfitters, your truck accessory headquarters. At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. Halftime here at Minster Gymnasium. The Wildcats with a 13-point lead with the first half numbers. Mr. Ron Kersey. Field goal-wise for Marion Local, they were 7 to 21. Minster 13 to 25. So both teams shooting fairly well, especially Minster. On, that's about 50% there, a little better. And uh, from the three-point line, two of five for Marion Local, four of eight for uh, Minster. From the free throw line, there's only one foul shot taken, and, and Marion had that, and they made it. Rebounds pretty even, 12 to 11 in favor of the Flyers, and turnovers nine for Marion, six for Minster. So that nine turnovers for Marion is is probably right at uh, what they do for the year, uh, plus increase out a couple because you're playing Minster. Uh, I think they average 13. Uh, just under 13 turnovers a game. So they're at nine right now and uh, mainly do the full court press of Minster. Yeah, going into that end of the first quarter, Natalie Rathman hit the big three. Marion was ahead 14 to three, but they only scored two points, get outscored 16 to two in that second quarter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they, they had a long dry spell there. They were one of nine from the field there in the second quarter. And they stay in the 1-3-1 one, one zone here. They just did that briefly in the second quarter. Mm -hmm. Minster with basketball. They're starters in the game, and there's a turnover. Rathman taking it the whole way and in. So they're off to a good start there. Yeah, the reason they didn't 1-3-1, uh, one, one, they did that in the second quarter, but they never had half-court defense very much. That's true. It's true, they had a lot of turnovers there and there were some fast breaks. Rethman now with 10 points, the lead game high honors with Damaris Wolf at 10 apiece. His Falk's three-pointer is short. Flyers seven and six, one and three in the MAC. Minster 13 and one, four and zero oh in the MAC. Minster has won the last six meetings between these two teams. Last Marion one was in the 2013 district final. Short shot was rebounded by Wolf. Pulls up for the jumper. Wolf missed most of the second quarter in foul trouble. Heidi Rethman, double team, loses a handle. Ball on the floor. Jump ball will stay with the Flyers. So the Flyers fortunate there. They've got the possession arrow in their favor. Marion coming off a tough loss to Anna on Tuesday night, which you saw on NK Telco Sports. There's a nice block by Pranger. Pranger's had a lot of good defensive plays, takes it the whole way and rolls off on the bank. Pushing it ahead, Rethman. Holman almost stolen by Wolf will go out of bounds. That's one way you can avoid their half court pressure anyway, is if you can get the ball down the floor in a hurry, but their ball handling doesn't seem to be their the best part of their offense. Rathman, 18 footer, draws air, tipped, and it'll go out of bounds. Go to the Wildcats. Wildcats on the season, averaging almost 58 points a game, only giving up 30 points a game. They've only had three games that have been less than 20 points. That, on that, the season. Yeah, that's unreal. The eight point to Fort Laramie. Three pointer. They beat Bellevue by 14. And they beat Valley View by 19. Shot by Rethman. And Heidi Rethman with the basket. And Marion, they come in averaging 44 and a half points a game. They give up 41. So uh, if you look at those numbers, the, 
the big number there is only giving up 29 for Minster. Fires on the season shooting 32%. We're looking at the stats. As we mentioned, our keys of the game, when they shoot well, they win games. When they shoot under 30, they've lost about every five or six of their losses have come when they shoot under 30. Shot up. Another jump ball in the rebound. And the shooting hasn't been too bad, other than that second quarter when it got ice cold. But yeah. a lot of it's the defense of the Minster. Yeah, the first quarter, uh, six of 12, they're shooting 50% that first quarter. Timeout on the floor by Minster. It'll be a full timeout. We'll step aside and we'll be right back here on NK Toko Sports. At Minster Bank, we understand that life can get hectic. That's why when it comes to your banking, we offer the services that make your life simpler with tools like person-to-person -person payments, pop money, mobile and online banking, and bill pay. But most of all, Minster Bank is a supportive member of your community with personal relationships and customer service that reach outside of our branches. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. 30 to 21, Minster on our first National Bank scoreboard coming off a Wildcat timeout. We'll see that now uh, Marion's changed to a 2-3 zone. See how Minster handles that. And right there is a steal by Marion. Rethman passes it to Caning, loses a handle. Wolf comes up with a steal. Over to Ivy Wolf to Falk. The Maris Wolf wide open for the three. That's well short. So they'll go about, say they'll say it's that'll be it'll be flyer basketball. The referee pointed the wrong way at first. So she was really hit, stroking it good there in the first quarter was uh Demarius Wolf. Yeah, she had 10 points in the Yeah, and then she probably. picked up her second foul and things have a way of cooling off and you're sitting there. Wolf ties up Rethman. We'll stay on the flyer side. It was 30 to 17 at halftime, so Marion's the only one who scored so far. They scored four points in this half. Rathman gives it up to Koenig now. Coleman. Ivy Rathman, the sophomore. Over to Koenig. King with the runner as short. Rebound, Janae Hoyne, probably one of the shortest players on the floor. Minster, Tries to go underneath, stolen. Minster's a good ball handling team uh, off the dribble and just good fundamentals. A very strong program for under Nan Steckschulte for years and then Coach Wiss. JV coach under Nam for a long time. It's taken over the last three years. And there's another steal. Pranger comes up with it, leading the break again. 6 2 senior loses it this time. It's, it's getting a little ugly right now. Yep, she got in the place where there's no place to go and turned it over. Heidi Refman. Gives it off to Homan. Three and a half to go here, third quarter. Minster up by nine. Trying to go to 14 and one, ranked number two in the state. And a nice drive by Heidi Rethman. Pass all the way ahead. The Pranger is open for the layup. Nice. Have a timeout on the floor. They have a 30 second timeout. I'd like to thank our sponsors for making this telecast possible. Wilson Health, Carrying Without Limits, Precision Strip, NKT.TV, BowlerStore.com, Wagner's IGA, servicing communities for over 95 years, Grand Lake Health, 
Clope Building Products, America's favorite garage door. Moran's Refrigeration, your appliance expert, serving Northwest Ohio for over 70 years. PSG Automotive Outfitters. Minster Bank, financial solutions for a lifetime. Schruderman Pharmacies, located in Salina, Coldwater, Minster, New Bremen, St. Mary's, and Walpaw. Knoxville Supply, Cargill, Minster Dental. Francis Furniture, our replace tonight, sponsored by Winner's Meats. Keys to the Game is brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. We will have a player of the game sponsored by NK Telco. And on our first National Bank scoreboard, Minster ahead by nine. And at last possession, that's one of the first times that Marion did not get back defensively and Pringer outran them down the floor. And she's been doing that the whole game, but uh, before Marion was step for step with her. Pringer comes up with a steal there. Zoe reset. Ivy Wolf gives it off to Falk on the wing. Wildcats are their five starters in the game right now. Just to Pranger banks at home. A nice bounce pass there to get it to her. Full core pressure, having some trouble. They were able to break it. At least temporarily as Homan all the way over to Rethman. 11 point lead for the Wildcats. It's 13 at half. Pull up by Rethman. Pranger with another rebound. Pushes it way ahead, this time to Ivy Wolf and in. So again, somebody beats him down the floor. The transition defense isn't there right now for Marion. He felt now with the basketball. Trying to get through a double team, loses a handle. Falk will pass it ahead to Wolf. Pranger drives in the lane, in. Courtney Pranger dominating here in the third quarter. A timeout on the floor by the Flyers. Be a full timeout. You get another replay here sponsored by Winner's Meats. You're going to see this is a ball fake and then taking it right up the middle and, and no help there by the Flyers defensively. We'll step aside, be right back. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. 2.05 to go, third quarter. Minster by 15, and their defense and pressure is taking control here, Ron. Yeah, that and the inability of Marion to get back on defense has really hurt them. Coach Stribe with the timeout. So reset under two minutes to go here in the third quarter. Flyers against the number two team in the state as they steal another basketball. Nice hesitation dribble by Ivy Wolf. Pulling wide open for the three, decides to hold on to it. Yeah, she thought about it. Pass back to Hoing. Puts one up, that is short. Rebound Flyers. Flyers are trying to run while they can, mostly to avoid the pressure. Yeah, that, that's one way to do it. But it's hard to, you know, you, it, you have to get the rebound first to start it or you have to have a turnover. Shot up by Neatfelt. Maris Wolf comes out with it, the rebound. Pass ahead to Pranger. To the hole and in. He's taking control of the game here in the last well, this, this whole quarter, actually. She had six at halftime. Yeah. Aggressive on the offensive side. A lot of steals as well for Pranger. 
And a left-handed shot there by Sammy Holscher, this freshman with a long two-pointer. Looking around the perimeter. Wolf down to 28 yeah. seconds. Four out and one in with Pringer being the one in. Not a bad option for the one in. No. <laughs> Pretty good choice. Down to 13 seconds. Wildcats in no hurry. Not necessarily going for one, but they might end up that way. Wolf, nice entry pass to Pranger, and she finishes there. We played three quarters of basketball on our first National Bank scoreboard. Wildcats 42, Flyers 25. We'll be back with quarter number four here on NK Toko Sports. Minster Dental Care continues to offer advanced dental technology in a state-of-the-art facility. Our professional team offers experience in general dentistry and orthodontics, including services such as Sarah and Wireline Orthodontics. Board-certified pediatric dentist Dr. Philip Slonkowski ensures our littlest patients have a positive, safe, and a comfortable experience. We are unconditionally committed to excellence in everything we do. Trust us! NK Telco, a small town company with a big focus on customer service. We build business the old-fashioned way. Trust us to be your internet provider. Trust us to help you find the right cable package for your viewing needs. Trust us to answer your questions any time of the day. Trust NK Telco to be on call. Deliver and make sure your service is tailored to meet your needs. We serve commercial and residential customers to meet their communication needs. Trust us at NK Telco. Trust us! Going into the fourth quarter on our first National Bank scoreboard, Minster taking control now with a 17-point lead. Yeah, uh, Marion's got their work cut out for them right now. They, they fell back to 17 down, and with Minster being able to pressure anytime they want to, and it's been going on now the whole game. You look for Marion, probably have a few more turnovers. They had five there in the third quarter, so they're already up to 14, and that's above their average for a whole game. Minster in the one, or Marion in the one, three, one. Some new players in, number 12, Danielle Barhorse, 14, Carly Richard, 24, Courtney Ernst to join Falk and Ivy Wolf. Falk with a basketball to Richard. Work around this zone. Nice pass to Ernst, kicks it out. Long two by Falk. Rebound the Flyers, Holscher. Able to hold on to it, almost tied up. Passes it, that will go into the backcourt, stolen by Richard. Now knocked away, it will stay with the Wildcats. And Bringer is on the bench right now to start the fourth quarter, and we'll see how long that lasts. It's 16 at the end of that quarter, had I believe 10 in that quarter. Her season high is 18. And she did it in all different kinds of ways, you know, running the floor, also posting people up against the zone. Richard shot off the mark, Holscher with the rebound. See what the Flyers can do now. And he tries to drive. Nice block there. Good double team by Ernst and Falk. And Ernst comes up with the steal and fouled in the backcourt. Yeah, Minster was six for 11 from the field in that third quarter. They missed their two three-point shots, but they were six of nine from inside the arc. And many most of those were bringers. Yeah, how many turnovers did Marion have? Uh, Marion had five in the third quarter. A lot of those were converted into points. Right. Not an uncommon theme for Minster opponents this season. So going for their 14th win. Their loss to Fort Laramie snapped a 25-game winning streak that goes back about a whole year. And that will improve your shooting percentage also when you're shooting layups off of turnovers. Yep, that's for sure. Their shooting percentage was down against Port Laramie, but Port Laramie's an excellent basketball team, very good defensive team, and probably a good chance those two schools will run into each other in regional tournament. And right now Minster working the perimeter around. 
now Fort Laramie number one ranked team in Division Four as they flip flop with Minster, who's now at two. Shot off the mark. Wolf trying to come up with the rebound or the steal. Can he do a good job of keeping it alive? Yeah, right there. Marion had the numbers, but they couldn't get it out in time. Our horse steals it from behind. We have a jump ball. It'll stay on the Marion side. Get a Wolf will return. Also, Damaris Wolf will check into the lineup as well. Lob into Pullman. Shot up. Off the mark. Daniel Barhorse, senior with the basket, with the rebound, gives it up to fellow senior Wolf. Another senior Richard. Looks like there's four seniors and Hoing, who is a sophomore in the ball game right now. Now Marion, they're back to a man to man. They just you about have to do that. You can't stay in a zone and let people stand around and run the clock right now. The only way they're going to be able to get back in the game is, is tough man to man, create some turnovers and force Minster into some shots. Foul on the Flyers. That's only their second foul this half. Minster has not had a foul this half. Very few fouls the whole game. It's just one, one foul shot so yeah. far. A pretty up and down type of game. And there's almost a steal by Caney. Kelsey tried to save that before it went out of bounds. Richard to Ernst through the lane. And then Courtney Ernst. Nice penetration there by Ernst. Get the easy layup. Ernst now with five points off the bench. Rethman crossover. Nice move and in for Heidi Rethman. Rethman now with eight. And they haven't had very many of those shots. Uh, I remember a couple from the wing that they drove in for a layup. And then that shot in the middle of the lane. Other than that, their shots haven't been come from that distance. Timeout by Minster. Be a 30 second timeout. We'd like to recognize that NK Toko Sports and its sponsors are pleased to bring you replays of high school varsity basketball on NK Toko Channel 3 or in HD on 50, Channel 503. If you missed the first replay on Saturday, January 19th at, nine, at noon, Second replay is Sunday, January 20th at 6 p.m. You can also watch the games on WSN and on demand on NK Telco Sports Facebook page or at nktelco.net. Their full schedule is on there. Under If you go under sports and high school basketball, you'll see the full schedule on www.nktelco.net. 4.31 to go in the ball game. Minster, Coach Wiss calls a timeout. You see the huddle right now. Coach Wiss, three state titles in baseball, one state title in basketball, and that's quite a quite an accomplishment, and that's a lot of work. Yes, if you want to do it right, and he does it right. A lot of success and a very good team this year as Barhorse pulls up jumper, rebound of the Flyers. There's very few coaches that have won a state championship coaching girls and boys. That's yeah. unusual. Yeah. And there is a. I don't think the, the average person realizes how much time and effort goes in to just one sport, let alone two varsity sports. And to be a head coach on two varsity sports yes. that are back to back. Right. You see our winner meets replay. It's not only during the season, it's during the off season. He also coached fall sports for a long time as Heidi Rathman with a shot off the basket. Going almost loses the handle. Drive to the hole. Richard not able to finish. Ball on the floor comes up with it. Barhorst partially blocked. Gets her own rebound. Gets another chance and this time foul. So Daniel Barhorst being 
Very persistent. Comes up with the rebound. And after watching some of his baseball teams, you know, you see uh, the resemblance uh, between the two sports. Uh, fundamentally solid, uh, well-disciplined teams. You know, they don't make don't beat fundamental themselves. mistakes. Yep. Kind of success, and he hopes the Minster girls basketball season runs right into the basket baseball season because that would mean it was a good season. Yep. Barhorse splits the pair of free throws. Ruffman almost double dribbled. Holman with the shot. Gets her own rebound. Battle for the rebound, and we have a foul, and Brooke Holman will go to the line to shoot two. Well, now we're going to set a record in this game, Wade Luxon, for free throws. <laughs> it's going to be the third one here in the second or in the fourth quarter. Alan Courtney Pranger just recently checked in. Holman's first one off on the season. Flyers pretty good foul shooting team, 69%. That's second best in the MAC. Minster 67%. That's anytime you get close to around 70 as a team, that's pretty good. Yeah. This is a pair. Pranger with the rebound to Ernst. Barhorse will let the long two go. Rebound with the Flyers. Battle for the rebound. Pranger almost came up with it. It will go to the Flyers. So the Flyers uh, a little bit ago was 17, I think, at the end of the third quarter. That yeah, was 42 to 25. And it's right now 16, so they're staying at that, that same level. Good battle there by Pullman. And Elena comes up with the rebound and is fouled. Pullman, just a sophomore, averages eight and a half a game, six rebounds a game. She made her foul shot there in the first half. And again, with that kind of a shot, the, the percentage doesn't tell the story, I don't think. As uh, 53 on this season? Yeah. yeah. So we have Avery Wolf, number five in the game, also Lily Pelletier in the game, number 23. Pranger comes up with another rebound. Leads the break to Wolf. She travels. So that's Minster's first turnover here in the fourth quarter, the fifth one in the half. So they're up to 11 so far in the ball game. Barring a miracle, Minster will go to 14 and one, five in the five and zero oh in the MAC. Their next league game is next Thursday. They play New Bremen. We'll have that on NK Toco. In two weeks they play Versailles, and what'll be a big matchup. There's a foul on Pranger. But earlier than that, on Saturday, Minster will play in the Flying of the Hoop Classic at Kettering. Weather permitting, they play Dayton Carroll. Dayton Carroll is the number one ranked team in Division Two and undefeated. So number two in Division Four, that being Minster against number one Dayton Carroll in Division Two. That should be quite a battle for the Wildcats. And that's a good thing. You don't dodge competition. You want a, the best competition you can find. I think over the years you see the better teams doing that. Get yeah. them ready for the tournament. Yeah, they played in a, a Journey to the Tourney showcase event at Lakota West High School. That was like the kickoff. Fort Laramie also played into that. Hoying with a shot and in. And they won the bath tournament over the holiday. That's always a pretty good Tournament, they beat Bellevue, who is ranked number, I think they're currently ranked number four. They beat Bellevue, that's Bellevue's only law. Bellevue is division two in division four. Let me say that again, ranked number four in division two. Their only loss is to Minster. So yeah, they have not dodged the competition. And of course, they played Fort Army last week. They'll also play Audible coming up. In a couple weeks, which they that's met in the state good, final. Yeah, that's they've always played, good competition. Yeah, they've played each other for 20 some years, and that's always a great game. So a lot of good action ahead for the Wildcats, and the Flyers will re regroup from here. They'll fall to seven and seven, one and four in the MAC. Showed so showed some good things at times. Pressure got to them. Shot up by Niefeld. Off the mark, Ruffman almost with the rebound. 
Shot by Holscher in. Sammy Holscher with the tray. So she's come off the bench with a couple buckets. She had a long two there from the corner earlier and now hits a three. Lauren Mox in the game number 40. Her first action. Pelletier thought about a three. Kicks it out to Avery Wolf. To the hoop. Partially blocked. Rebound Flyers. There's a steal. Hoing. Hesitation will bring it back. Ernst with the basketball gives it out to Wolf. Down to a minute to go. Ernst with a 14 point lead. This will be only their fourth game of the season. That's been 20 points or less. Ernst to the hole. That is short. Battle for the rebound will stay with Minster. So they're going to they're gonna give it to Marion. Must have been off, off Minster. Few flyers in the game. Neat felt with the basketball. 21 Molly Rathman in the game. Number 40, Mary Lou Holscher in the game. Try to get all them as we can. So this unit's doing a pretty good job too of reversing the basketball, looking for the shot. Marion led after one, 15 to 14, and they only scored two points in the second quarter. And Minster's defense, the story in this game. Shot up and in for the Flyers. Lauren Walters with the basket for the Flyers as the Wildcats will dribble it off. The final score, the Minster Wildcats 47, the Marion Local Flyers 36 on our first National Bank scoreboard. We'll come back and wrap it up with our final stats here on NK Toko Sports. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. The big game is right around the corner. Are you ready for it? Come into Francis Furniture and find the right fit for you and your friends in our Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. With Lazy Boy Premier Sofa and Sectionals, you can custom order a look that's just your style. Choose from hundreds of decorator fabrics or choose genuine leather for its luxurious feel and durability. Come into Francis Furniture today, the area's only Lazy Boy Comfort Studio. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health. Final score in our first National Bank scoreboard, Minster defeats Marion Local by 11. With the final numbers, Mr. Ron Cruzy. For Marion Local from the field, 15 of 41, four of eight from the three-point line, two of five from the foul line, rebounds 27 for the Flyers, and the big number there is 20 turnovers. For the Minster Wildcats, they were 21 of 49 from the field, four of 12 from the three-point line, one of two from the foul line, 24 rebounds, and only 11 turnovers for the Wildcats. So the big numbers there, obviously the biggest one is the 20 turnovers, and you kind of expected something like that going into the game. As we said before the game started, uh, Minster has created 348 turnovers uh, on their opponents, and whereas they only commit 142 on the year. so. When you see that number average of 20, almost 25 turnovers that they force a game, uh, you got to take care of the basketball. And uh, Marion Local had trouble with that against the press. 
and uh, it turned into points for Minster on the other end. Yeah, you look at the score by quarters, it, it tells a lot of the game the first quarter, Marion led 15 to 14, but then the disastrous second quarter, Minster outscores them 16 to two, lead 30 to 17 at halftime. Third quarter is 42 to 25, and our final score, 47, 36. And like you talked about the turnovers, the first quarter, the Flyers did well. They shot well. I think you shot, mm -hmm. said they shot 50% in that first quarter, and then one of nine in the second quarter. And a lot of that is the turnovers. And Marion hasn't been the only one that's fallen victim to that uh, pressure defense of Minster. Right. You have to be able to handle the ball, and, and it, it probably would benefit you if, you know, a strong dribbling team, you know, against the the man-to-man -man press. Uh, Minster kind of adjusted to the way they were breaking the press, and uh, they, they just looked for passes and deflections, and, and they got those. And when they did, you know, my gosh, you have a 6'2 center and bringer running the floor and beating everybody down there. And even when she gets a rebound, she leads the, the fast break down the middle. So it's pretty hard to stop stuff like that. And that leads into our player of the game sponsored by NK Telco, the aforementioned number 30, Courtney Pranger for the Wildcats. Yeah, I think, uh, what did you say? She ended up with 16, 16 points. And, and I don't think she scored in the, in the first quarter at all. She just gave the ball up and uh, looked for her teammates. And then all of a sudden, uh, against, especially against the 1-3-1 zone, uh, she got open inside and took the ball to the basket. Plus, uh, she stole the ball a couple times and led the fast break, and she, she was shooting layups on, on their end of the floor. So congratulations to Courtney, our player of the game, as Minster will go to 14-1 and one on the season. Marion falls to 7-6. and six. I'd like to thank our NK Telco sports crew, director Bryce Hamrick, Assistant Rodney Hardings on camera tonight, Camden Carter, Ryan Gossard, and Nolan Emerson. My partner, Ron Cruzy, I'm Dave Kanapke. Thanks for watching on NK Toko Sports.